Hello everyone, this is Noelle Russell. And today I wanted to go over how to get started with the nutrition plan for the Shift Shop program. Okay, so when it comes to doing uh, beach body workout programs, you get a fitness program, a workout program paired together with nutrition to give you um, the ultimate equation for success. So um, you can do the workouts, you can follow the plan exactly, but if you're not working on your nutrition, you're probably not going to get the amazing results you're looking for. Okay, so Shift Shop, I already um, created a video on just getting started with it, what's included with the program. Um, but one of the key steps when you're getting prepared to start that is to really understand the eating plan that goes hand in hand with the workouts. Um, so that's what we'll talk about today. So I actually have the book in hand, so you can go through the paper copy and follow along. Um, or you can go to Beachbody On Demand and follow the guide there. I'm going to share my screen and show you where to get the information on there. Okay, so here's Beachbody On Demand. We're going to scroll down and go to Shift Shop. And then over to the program materials. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see Simple Shift Nutrition Guide. And then just click on the PDF version of that. Okay, so scrolling through, there's a little message from Chris. Um, he's super motivating, super inspiring and positive. Um, so you can read that from him. What I absolutely love about this nutrition plan is that he refers to it as fuel. Um, and I think that's the first mental shift that you need to get into, and he talks about that in here, is thinking of food as fuel. So the way he puts it is like the one, um, the one simple trick for getting better results is to think of food as fuel. And that's so important. So many of us um, have grown up with using food or drinks for comfort, a way to deal with stress, a way to deal with boredom. Um, there's so many emotional uh, ties to eating that make it so complicated when you're trying to eat better right? So the first thing that I want you to do is to start that mental shift of whenever you're sitting down to eat a meal or a snack or whatever, to think of that as fuel. And how do you want to fuel your body well? Just like a car, if you put um, junky gas in a performance car, you're not going to get high performance out of that engine. It's the same thing with your body. If you want your body to perform well and have energy and look great, you have to provide it with good fuel, okay? And that's what um, the first shift we're going to talk about with the plan. Okay, so first things first. If, you're, if you've done any workout programs before with Beachbody, there's always um, a calculation to give you your calorie bracket. Okay, so on page six, you will see the fuel analyzer questionnaire. So go through a simple, couple simple questions, you'll come up with your total score, and then it will tell you if you're on plan A, plan B, plan C, or plan D, okay? <clears throat> then you can go over to the next page, and for plan A, which is 1,200 to 1,500 calories, you'll see for week one, how many containers or servings of veggies, fruits, proteins, all the categories, how many um, servings you get per day. Now with Shift Shop, the nutrition plan ramps up along with the workouts. So it's actually gonna be different week by week. So week one, you'll see, say for instance, you get three servings of veggies. In week two, you'll get four servings of veggies. In week three, you'll get five. Um, meanwhile, you will start to decrease your carbs. So in week one, you'll have two yellows or two carbs, starchy carbs. In week two, it'll drop to one. In week three, it'll drop to zero, okay? So it's a little bit different, um, but I think it is an awesome plan for getting and shifting your body into fat burning mode, okay? If you've never eaten um, grain free or starchy carb free before, you might be freaking out a little bit. Um, which is totally normal because if you've never done it before, then it can be over a little overwhelming. But the cool thing is 
One, there's um, sample meal plans in here. There's sample recipes. There's a whole like 80 page booklet of recipes um, that I'll share with you in the group as well. Um, so a lot of resources for figuring out good meal plans to stick with us, okay? And something else I wanted to mention, um, if you are looking at why you um, cut out grains and starchy carbs, um, basically your body, turns that into sugar. And the point of this whole plan is to get your body into fat burning mode. Um, whenever you have excess carbs in your body, you're gonna, your body is gonna turn to sugar and burn sugar. So if you've ever heard the term sugar burner or fat burner, when you have a lot of carbs going through your body, your body is gonna look to sugar first for burning that as fuel. And so any fat you're accumulating is just gonna be stored as body fat. So what you wanna do with this plan is not only pair the workouts that is gonna rev up your metabolism, but also eating the right fuel so that you start burning fat and start burning stored fat in your body, okay? So this is not to say this is how you need to eat forever and forever, um, but it will teach you ways to eat um, so that you're cutting grains and starchy carbs out of your diet. Um, I've been doing this for about six months now myself, um, and really, you can get most of the carbs you need from fruits and vegetables, and they have a lot more um, vitamins and nutrients and minerals than some of the grains do. So um, it's not like you're not getting any carbs at all. You're just getting your carbs from fruits and vegetables, which is a really great source, okay? So I personally um, calculate out to plan A. I've been doing these nutrition plans for long enough to know that that's... Um, likely not enough calories for me just with my activity level. Um, so I will likely bump up to plan B. But one of the first rules in the shift shop is to try before you modify. So if you're new to this, if you've never done this before, whatever your calculation is, do that for the first week and just see how you feel. Um, see how your energy level is. See if you're okay. I mean, if you're cutting out sugar and junk, you're obviously going to start craving that stuff and having withdrawals from that. But if you're really, truly starving, if you're really, truly struggling for energy, then um, let's chat because you might need to bump up to the next calorie bracket. Um, I see more issues with clients eating not enough calories and struggling to get results than I do with clients eating too much. So a lot of times you can think, oh, I'm cutting back, I'm cutting back, that's going to be better for me. Um, but I've seen that really hurt people as well. So do the first week, see how you feel, and then reevaluate. Re okay, in the chart too, there's a difference. Um, it'll show at the bottom um, the Beach Body Performance Line, which I'm a big fan of. Um, so you can utilize Energize, which is your pre-workout. Hydrate is during your workout, and then Recover is a post-workout um, high-protein shake. Um, so you can use that throughout this plan. Now in week one, since the workouts are only 25 minutes, you really don't need hydrate during your workouts. But if you're sweating a lot on week two, week three, then you know feel free to add that in during your workouts. I'm a big fan of Energize. Um, it's awesome. It really works to give you some energy and help with your performance. So I will be using that myself. Okay, so the next page will go through plan C and plan D. Um, let's see, page nine will tell you um, some tips if you're a vegan or vegetarian. Um, I ate vegan for a while this year and um, that didn't really work for me, but if you are a vegan looking to do this plan, let's chat and we can um, figure out how to modify the plan for you. Um, okay, so write down, go through the calculations, figure out your calorie bracket, that's step one. So I did that in my little notebook. Um, <coughs> then step two would be writing down your container counts for week one, week two, week three. Okay, if you've never done the program or never done the container, the portion fixed containers before, then this will be new. But if you've done it before, similar to 21 day fix, um, a little bit different. So on page 10, you'll see the um, green list or the veggies food list. And something to point out is when you're looking at the food list, they go in a hierarchy. So the foods at the top of the list are gonna be the most nutrient dense. So you get the biggest um, nutrition bang for your buck at those top foods. Um, and then it goes down throughout the list. But 
something really important is to get variety in your diet. So it's not saying only eat from the top of the list. Um, it gives you an idea of a lot of choices to choose from. So green is your veggies. Um, purple is your fruit. Um, and read through the list because there are a couple things snuck in there that will surprise you, for instance, or might surprise you. For instance, with purple, when you're looking at a banana, one purple serving is half a banana. That's something that comes up a lot because I have a lot of people that like to put bananas in their shakes. Um, so something to keep in mind. Also, tomato sauce, salsa is under the purple category. So just take a look through the list. There's a couple things that are kind of switched up in some of the categories. Okay, next is red, which is your protein. Um, nothing really too, <coughs> excuse me, um, extraordinary there. That's what Shakeology goes under. So Shakeology is a red. Um, ricotta cheese, cottage cheese is in here. Um, yogurt. Um, eggs. So take a look at that. Um, then the biggest difference uh, for the Shift Shop Nutrition Plan is under the yellow or the carbs food list, okay? And this page 13 is where you want to make sure you either print out a copy of this or you understand this going forward. So you'll see it's different for each week. So in week one, anytime you see yellow in your plan, you can have choose from winter squash, um, which it gives you the ideas of those there. Um, sweet potato, yams, parsnips, white potato, peas, beans, lentils, edamame, refried beans, okay? Those are the yellow ones to choose from, so you're really cutting out the greens. Week two, that list gets smaller and you cut out the legumes um, at the bottom of the list, and then in week three, you're really just down to winter squash, okay? Don't freak out. You can do it, okay? You can totally do this. It's three weeks. You can totally do this. Okay, um, next is healthy fats. Um, healthy fats, I love my healthy fats. So those are your blue. Things like avocado, raw nuts, um, coconut milk, cheeses, hummus, all of that is under the blue healthy fats. Um, on the next page is seeds and dressings, which are your orange. So that's things like pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, um, olives, coconut, um, oil-based salad dressings. Okay. And then next and final is your teaspoons list. So this is going to be um, your like olive oil, coconut oil, all of your nut butters, seed butters. Um, and this plan also includes butter, ghee, and mayonnaise, which is not on all of them. All right. So that's basically all of your container counts for the plan. Um, the next page will tell you about free foods. Um, so take advantage of this, read through the list of things like you can add lemon juice or lime juice to your water, vinegar, so balsamic vinegar, I use that all the time, it doesn't count as anything, mustard, um, just gives you some ideas of how to add some flavor to some of your things without really adding too much in the way of calories. Okay, so that basically steps you through, I find myself um, that sometimes it's helpful to just like make a photocopy. <laughs> of some of these or print out your PDF from Beachbody On Demand um, of just those container lists and either, you know, tape them to the door of your pantry, put them in a notebook if you're using that to plan out your meals, um, whatever it is, just have that reference so when you're planning out meals, you have those handy lists, okay? And then next in the book, which I think is really helpful and really cool. I haven't seen this um, necessarily before. Say if you calculate in your plan A, this gives you a sample menu for week one, saying when you're starting out, one of my key tips is just to keep it simple, okay? Don't get overwhelmed, don't feel like you have to try brand new recipes every day, you wanna keep it simple. So this gives you an idea of two separate meal plans. So say you wanna use meal plan one, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and use the other plan for the other days of the week. And then it gives you a shopping list of how much you need. So it's really cool if you're just starting out week one and you're overwhelmed, take a look at this, very simple ideas, okay? And when you go through the menu, it'll go on to week two, week three, and give you sample menus. So if you're not one that likes to meal plan and you just wanna have somebody lay it out for you, here you go. It'll move on for calorie bracket B and so on. Okay, let's get down. 
So that's very helpful when you're just getting started or if you just want some ideas of how to put together some meals. <coughs> okay, well, let's scroll down here. Next is hydration. Okay, this is a big, big thing um, that I always stress with my clients is to make sure you're drinking enough water. So many people are walking around, which I'm going to have a sip as well because I am fighting off a cold and kind of um, my throat is dry and scratchy, so I'm going to have a sip of water. Okay, so it's really important. Most people don't get enough water in, and it's so important for um, your body's function, okay? So you really want to take your body weight. So say you are 140 pounds. You take your body weight divided by two. So 140 divided by two would be 70. That means as a goal, you should try to drink 70 ounces a day if you're a 140 pound person. Okay. So a lot of people, when they're doing that calculation, they think like, wow, that's a ton of water. Um, but I will tell you what, on the days where I really focus to make sure I'm getting, you know, 80 or 90 ounces of water a day, I feel so much better. Um, I'm not as tired. I'm not craving stuff. It just, it really helps your whole body function better. And a lot of times, um, I just heard something recently that talked about like one of the number one reasons for fatigue is dehydration. So if you're feeling tired and you normally go for a cup of coffee in the afternoon at work, try chugging a big glass of water first and see if that makes you feel better. Another tip I give my clients and my family and friends is First thing when you get up, first thing when I get up in the morning, you know, I go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, and then I head to the kitchen, I fill up an eight or 10 ounce glass of water, and I chug it down before I do anything else. Before I do my workout, before I do anything else, I have a big glass of water, no matter where I am, every single day. And it's just a way to kind of wake up your metabolism, get everything kind of moving. You've been dehydrated from sleeping. Um, and not having anything all night is the best thing you can do to start your body out in the morning. Highly, highly, highly recommend getting into that habit. Okay, so on this page, it'll show you some ideas for how to flavor your water. You know, adding some fruit slices. Something else I like to do is to slice up limes and lemons, put those in the freezer as like a little frozen um, lemon slice ice cube thing. And then I will put those in my water cup, which is an easy way to get a little hint of flavor without any calories in your water. Okay, next is coffee and tea on page 47. Okay, so coffee and tea are fine in moderation if you are not sensitive to caffeine. Um, this gives you some ideas of what to add to it. I know this is a, a sticking point for a lot of people because you, a lot of people are used to putting cream and sugar and all kinds of things into their coffee to make it into a treat. Um, but you can, it's, it's a habit that you can work on to make healthier options. If you need help, um, this is something I worked on myself. I don't have the daily coffee habit anymore. Um, I drink coffee when I want to have a cup. I drink tea when I want to have a cup. So if you need help on how to cut back on that habit, I am more than willing to help because um, I have a bunch of suggestions for you, okay? So that's coffee and tea. Let's see what's next. Next is Shakeology, delicious Shakeology. Okay, um, here are some, just a couple recipes for Shakeology. If you need more, there was a whole calendar that came with Shakeology when you ordered it. Um, you can go to my website for ideas. You can go to the Teen Beach Body blog for all kinds of recipes there. I personally um, think the caramel apple sounds really good. I'm going to try that. Um, I just ordered some caramel extract um, this week. So I am looking forward to trying that once my caramel extract arrives. Uh, but just some ideas for you. I think um, Shakeology is so helpful because when you're following a plan like this, when you go and calculate your calorie bracket, it's going to put you at a calorie deficit to lose weight. Um, and one of the things you really want to focus on when you're operating at a deficit to lose weight is to make sure you're fueling your body with as much nutrients as possible so that you don't start like craving everything in sight and caving. And I found Shakeology is extremely helpful for helping people stay on track because it gives you such a huge dose of all the nutrients you need. Um, you know, super greens, 
super fruits. It has, um, you know, antioxidants in it, um, <clears throat> probiotics, digestive enzymes, adaptogens, all these things that help your body on a cellular level to um, where your body looks at it and says, oh, I know exactly what this is and this is what I need. And then it's satisfied. So it really helps decrease cravings. It really helps um, to decrease your appetite because you're fueling your body with the nutrients it needs. So it, you're not out there craving a bunch of junk. So I found it's really helpful for keeping people on track when they're drinking it daily. Plus it tastes amazing. Um, so it feels like a treat without being a treat. So for me, when I'm cutting out all sugar, I'm cutting out chocolate, I'm cutting out wine, I'm cutting out treats, I look forward to my daily Shakeology, whether it's the vegan chocolate or the vegan cafe latte. It tastes amazing, so it feels like I get at least one treat a day, even when I'm being really focused on good nutrition the rest of the time. So it's an awesome tool. If you need help on getting the recipe down, you know, just let me know. Okay, next two pages are just some other options that you might want to look into at some time. So there's Shakeology Boost, there's Power Green, there's the Digestive Health that you can put in. Um, the Beach Body Performance Line, I already touched on that. Um, I'm a big fan. I'm pretty particular about um, supplements, but I've been really impressed with the Performance Line. There's nothing artificial in them, no artificial sugars, no artificial flavors, no dyes, which is so hard if you look at other um, performance supplements out there doesn't have all the stuff that they don't bother my stomach. Um, I've just never found anything that I like better. Um, and this is really the only line that I will use. So energize is awesome before I work out. Hydrate is awesome. I use that on all my long runs. Um, if I'm doing a really intense workout, um, taste awesome. It's kind of like a much healthier version of something like a Gatorade or a Powerade, but doesn't have all the artificial chemical junk in it. So highly, highly recommend. Okay, what's next? Um, and then next is cooking tips. So if you are used to eating healthy, cooking healthy, um, you know, going to this nutrition plan is really just going to be a matter of, you know, planning out certain meals, following some guidelines, having some parameters. But for some of you, this might be brand new, you know, cooking healthy, you might not know what to do. And what I love is in the back of this nutrition guide, it gives you steps for just simple things like how to cook fish healthy. Okay. Then you go to the next page, how to cook chicken, how to steam vegetables, just some basic things, baked spaghetti squash. Highly recommend that if you're a pasta lover, like I have always been, um, spaghetti squash is like Spaghetti squash and zoodles, which is like noodles made out of zucchini, um, is like my go-to for pasta replacement. And they taste just as good, but you're getting a huge dose of um, vegetables. So highly recommend that. And it's super easy to make. Cauliflower rice. That's another idea of how to feel like you're having rice with a dish, but it's really made from cauliflower. Um, so just some easy, simple suggestions for learning how to cook healthier. Okay. And next, frequently asked questions on page 62 and 63. Um, take a look at that. And then the rest are just some ads, okay? So that's pretty much it for the nutrition guide. Um, like I said, step one, go through your calculation. Here, I'm going to go back to not sharing. Okay, so go through the calculation for what your calorie bracket should be. Step two, go to the chart here and figure out how many containers of each food group you should have per day. Write that down. And then just start going to planning out your meals day by day. I like to start with planning my dinners for the whole week. I'll look at my calendar for what my kids have going on, what we have in the evenings, what we have work-wise, and I'll plan out dinners that fit in those time slots. Um, and then I'll write out, okay, I have a red, I have a protein that's red, I have you know, maybe two vegetables, I have two grains, I have a healthy fat, so it's a teaspoon, whatever it is. Um, I'll fit in Shakeology wherever that's gonna be for my day. It's most often breakfast time, maybe an afternoon snack, um, so I'll fit that in and then I fit in the rest of my meals and make sure my um, container counts add up. Okay. So I know meal planning, all of that can be overwhelming when you're first starting out, but it is a skill 
that you can work on to improve and it's a skill that's going to benefit you for the rest of your life okay being prepared is not um half the battle it is the battle okay so if you take time every weekend to plan out some meals get to the grocery store and stock up on healthy fresh food and you take a little bit of time to maybe prep some things, maybe wash up some fruit and veggies, it's going to set you up for a successful week, whether you're working full time or you have three or four kids or whatever your schedule is like. If you have healthy, fresh food on hand, if some of it is prepped, if you have your dinners planned out, so you have a crazy day, but you just look at your notebook or your planner and you say, okay, I'm having crock pot chicken and um, broccoli tonight. Okay, cool. You don't have to think about it. You stay on track and you go about your day and you accomplish your goals. So like I said, it's a skill that you can work on um, to improve that will benefit you and your family for the rest of your life. Okay, Ship Shop Nutrition Guide. Take a look if you have any questions. If you need help, post below and I am happy to help you get started and help you get on track. I'm excited to start this on Monday. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to a positive ship. So hope this helps post any questions below. Thanks guys.